Hello everyone, I'm the Flesh 3004. Welcome back to Osiris New Dawn. Thank you for taking the time to hang out with me. I always enjoy hanging out with you. It's good to see you again. I appreciate you coming back to visit the channel. As you know, if you've been paying attention to the Steam store, the update for the experimental did come out on September 30th. I'm going to go over that in a minute. But I do believe we are probably going to have to restart over. I don't know for sure. We'll find out here. The only reason why I say that is because of this right here. So single player, if you click on it, it starts with this. So this is recommended. The story mode, the first one on the left. And Journey to the Moon of Proteus 2 and Resupply the Phoenix Team. Story driven adventure, standard survival elements. There's creative, free, create freely without worry of survival or alien creatures. No Select starting world, no survival and elements. And challenge, the ultimate chest of survival. You will only have one chance, so make it count. Select starting world, extreme survival difficulty. I'm not going to do this, maybe someday, but... I'm I'm still, you know, this new experimental is kind of hard, so I don't think I'd survive very long with that one. So we'll probably end up doing the story campaign. Before we do, let's go ahead and get into the patch notes for this on the experimental, and we'll switch to that and we'll get this going. This came out on September 30th. Let me go ahead and uh, there's been two patches since. I was going to switch back to the other, but that's going to be a pain in the rear end so this is the regular update friday september 30th is when it was posted just as they said they would the last day of september i was hoping it was come up friday and it did so this was out friday hey explorers we're ha so happy to be sharing our latest experimental branch with you today comprising of an enormous amount of new features and overall cleanup our goal on this has been to clarify the game modes shape the story mode and clean up the thousands of little things that go into making a fun experience story campaign first pass continuing from our opening cinematic so now we start the action here now the, this is the opening cinematic where everything blows up you already know this part we invite you to check out the new story campaign mode. This mode features refined missions and level layout. No, this Nope, this is a work in progress, and there's more we have planned, but this is a step in that direction. Crafting abilities unlocked through a progression in this mode, and you are re rewarded with new crafting abilities as you traverse through the adventure. Again, this is the story campaign. You're... System computer narrates missions and provides tips and explanations as you go, so she'll be talking to you quite a bit. Survival challenge, a mode we have planned internally for a long time, essentially a naked and afraid style mode where you choose a planet and starting gear and see how long you can last. Basically, one chance, and that's what it is. Uh, again, this is the first pass, and we'll likely add a leaderboard and permadeath to this mode, maybe even some fun contests. As in story mode, crafting abilities are unlocked through mission completions and discoveries. So it's like story mode, but you only have one life in the survival challenge. Creative mode, of course, you can do anything that you want to, build as much as you want to, nothing costs anything, and you can just do whatever you want to. So that's something interesting. This is what it looks like now, and I didn't even notice it when I was checking it out because I hadn't started up the game since the last time single player mode selection and multiplayer mode selection private server pub public servers inching ever closer to the final main menu and starting worlds for the public servers I'm not going to get too worried about that if you wanted to look at this you can look at this and check this out for yourself and then there is a terrain deformation. Large structures building. Large structure building has never been better with a simple but powerful terrain deformation. As you can see, when they put this base in, there was stuff right here where they're standing that was built up like this. And when they put it in, it kind of knocked it down and made it all flat and all the same level. You can kind of see where that hill was. And then as they add stuff, it just continues to make it flat and work out good in their favor so you don't have to worry about things being raised way up or way low to make things work and i think that's pretty interesting um finally you can build a sprawling base without the worry of hills and inclines stunting your build plans note this only applies to large structures so like the little stuff the benches and all that stuff will still be on inclines or whatever many smaller utilities and huts will just have to sit on top of the of the terrain so like i said they'll be on hills inclines bumps whatever that's just the way they'll be the furnace whatever you make 
Okay, so you can see right here, you know, they have all this stuff and it is deforming the terrain and it took a big chunk out of this hill right here and around the way to put in the uh, bio lab, the biodome. And it looks like it also built that up to right there too. So that's very interesting. It built up this hill. If you started here, it just builds it all up. First person animations. This was a ton of work, but we now have some nice animations and FX and first person. Patching your suite. I just noticed that. Sweet should be suit. Has never looked better and been more immersive. Third person animation. So you can go into third person. You can see them do it. That stuff right there with that. This is first person. This is third person. And... Building, crafting, eating, healing, and even gathering liquid are now fully displayed through beautiful animations and sound effects. I have not done this since the last time, so I have no idea how a lot of this is going to be. Step through and splash in the bodies of liquid. Creatures act in the liquid too. Walking through plants has animation and sounds give more immersion to the experience. So the plants will like move out of the way or whatever, I guess, instead of just going through them. More map features, and I think this is actually really cool. So you can see here how that is. You can see all the little dots and stuff like that for like the Lawn's Delight and different things. Back by popular demand, we added in the filtering system to allow you for searching for minerals by type. Also, type is now listed by hardness instead of density. So we know what things are hard. We know what things are soft. So instead of density, it's backed by hardness, which I think is a better idea anyway, because that just works out better. Geysers and liquids have also been added, added to the map features. I think that's awesome. I was hoping they would do something like this, but I didn't know if they ever would. So now we can find the geysers and the liquids. So that's really, really awesome. So you can see that like the oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, fluorine, chlorine, and liquid. And you can see there's different colors for each and everything. The green right there be probably chlorine. The yellow is hydrogen. That whatever color that is is oxygen i am sure and the liquid is that brighter blue because like chlorine and liquid are about the same color that's going to be interesting in the fluorine too looks like they're around the same colors that's going to make it a little difficult but i'm sure they get things figured out a lot of time went to cleaning up all the beeps and chimes in the ui making the sound more balanced to focus on the real world sound sound mastering System computer video. Speaking of sound, we have a final com system computer voice implemented and not video voice. And she sounds great. Missions are also given through the system of voice. Build goal management, a hotly requested item feature. You can now add your build goal to create an overall shopping list. Thousands of minor tweaks, too much to list, but they've added a lot of stuff in there. Just hundreds and hundreds of tiny adjustments to dial in the final polish. So this is inside one of the mines. It does look pretty good. It looks a little different than it did. And of course, the methane, they're kind of walking in waist deep water. The snubs, it looks like there's a little, maybe more new stuff with it or something. We don't know yet. We have to get into it and see. That looks a little fresh, looks really nice, but we're going to have to get into it. No issues and to-dos. So uh, this is a whole bunch of stuff. Creatures and drone updates were left out of this update and will be the primary focus after this branch goes to the main. So creatures and drones were not updated yet, but they will be when it goes to the main branch. Crab larvae snub has gotten the most attention and is the leading quality bar for the other creatures. Space travel in the spaceship will be getting another pass soon. Currently spaceship ramp needs sounds and fx and the spaceship control and landing gear will be improved most of the balancing and level design has gone to the proteus worlds aziel lutari and zero will be getting more attention the next round power distributor is not yet saving connections so we won't be able to put that in yet mid and late game tools weapons and structures will be getting the same round of polish as the early game of objects build goal is not yet incremented by type we almost got this solved but ran out of time suit so upgrades need work and will be addressed for the next release so they still need to be in so there's lots of stuff they still need to do but they're apparently getting there hopefully the other planets will be in too radar maps will be get the getting 
final background soon and are currently not accurate. So the maps here are not accurate that you saw up here. These are not accurate for where that stuff may be. So that's going to be a little bit of an issue when we're trying to find stuff. Localization is untested in this build and is possibly a mess. We'll do a full and clean localization pass prior to early access release whole bunch of changes a whopping lot of changes added a whole bunch of stuff here doesn't look like they've added the planets in yet but they still have the part two to do in the coming months as they said before and as i've talked about in here okay we'll be back with the rest of the story mode shortly along with the focus on the items in the to-do list above thank you for sticking with us during this crazy long early access process we very much appreciate your support in the meantime be sure to join our official discord server and brian said that and that's that's brian all right let's go ahead and get into this and let's see what we can do here again this is single player we're gonna do the story campaign so i think that's what we're gonna start with and again we probably will have to start over again oh hey look at that new animation all right well, maybe not. Maybe we can. Maybe we can just continue where we were. And looks like we have all of our stuff built. Cool. When this goes to full release and it's on the main branch, I will, of course, be starting up a new character on the main branch and we'll lose all of this stuff because this is just the experimental. All right, looks like oh, we are, it's at nighttime. Part of our thing is done here. Huh. Okay, I guess this thing has actually been lowered onto the ground because it was up a little way, so I'm wondering if... We build this out like I was talking about the last time. If we go out right here, I wonder if that's going to raise that up. Looks like there's all kinds of other things in here, too. Looks like there's some geyser right there that we cannot get to now because of the way that this was raised up. So that's very interesting. And it looks like there's all kinds of new minerals around. That's very interesting. I am... Um, a little bit unsure we're gonna have to check this out that is for sure so let's go ahead and get our pick out which is uh well we don't have a pick yet i guess you need to go to number six and get our chisel let's go see what some of this stuff is because i really don't know let's go ahead and get back in here let's go get our good knife out and let's go see if we can get rid of some of these little guys huh well, i want to check out that for sure and just see what the heck that is it'd be so much easier if we could see so what i might do is just wait until the morning when i can actually see enough to use my flashlight and i'll be back once that time comes around it shouldn't take too terribly long all right, it's starting to be daytime here now, and I wanted to show you something real quick. So if I go to F1, and I just ate a piece of food, my hydration nutrition was down a little bit. If I put my mouse on it, it tells me exactly hydration 98%, nutrition 129%. Because it wasn't down, and this does 32 food, it didn't need to be down and it gives you extra which i find really fascinating now let's go over here and let's go does look like they whoa buddy thank you they did give these guys a little bit of a uh, fresh coat of paint or so it looks like we want meat though there's all kinds of little bleeping stuff going on and i find that very interesting and I was going to say, too, when I looked at my uh, character, I'll show you in a minute as soon as I can get to a safe place, right in here, that, oops, yeah, I always hit tab. That looks a little bit different than what it used to look like, so I think that actually looks really good. I did make this, too, and I really don't know much about it other than it is a makeshift 
chisel to experiment with stuff. Wait, what? This is a chisel, not a building duo. Oh, copper. Okay, interesting. Don't exactly know what that does, but it sure did wear down fast. Cool, so now we can see that this copper has actually changed quite a bit from what it was, is it used to be, you know, the shiny. Iron still looks the same. It looks like there's water now down here, and that's ooh, carbon. So it looks like they brought carbon back, and they got rid of the Lonsdalite. Lonsdalite's still in. It's just now called carbon again. So they kind of go back and forth, and be nice if they would choose one or the other, but at least I know what carbon is, and that's what was always in was the carbon. So this is very interesting. It's called carbon, but you get Lonsdalite. Okay interesting not bothered by it i would just like to know exactly what we're going to be getting and since this is going to be the official release i'm sure this is going to stay as carbon and i would like to also do one more thing here real quick before we really get going building on stuff i want to go see if we can see what it looks like when you go through the water so you can hear the splashing let's go to v and i want to go see so it's not really exactly, I would say, a lot of things, but it isn't bad. Can't figure out where I am. Let's go and gather this iron. Let's get ready to build some more pieces that we can begin putting on our base. We're going to need some more aluminum because we think we need Zamac and all that stuff to be able to do that. Plus, I don't want to lose these resources. If the ground were to build up to here, once we start putting in more pieces, then that is always a possibility of that might happening. And if we can avoid doing that, that, that would be for the best. Let's go and get a... Hi! How are you? You want to look at this? It's really awesome. You're going to like it. I told you you'd like it. It's like there's all kinds of carbon around here, too. There is a sound, and I just don't know what it is. Come here. Thank you. Goodbye. See you later. Doggone little twerps. Let's go and get some oxygen. Uh, there we go. Plus 2102. And even tells you down at the very bottom. So I think that's pretty interesting. Let's see there's a rock right there. And there's copper right there. Let's go ahead and let's repair our stuff real quick that way we know that we have it all right cool there we go so it looks like things have improved maybe a little bit that thing's actually down okay that's cool I'm not bothered by that it just is gonna be a little bit you know sometimes before you can get stuff done what is that that looks like aluminum it is well aluminum looks much different than it used to look doesn't it? it was a little bit more shinier and quite a bit more smoother so they really did do a pass on stuff and Try to make stuff look even better. If you remember, there was a bunch of uh, zinc right out here. But it would appear that they did move that. And I don't know where they moved it to. We're going to have to go see. I wonder if it's that same blue color that they used to have. I don't know. We'll have to find out when we get that far. Let's go see how much of the... Nope. Thank you. Zamac that we can do. Looks like we can... We can actually do quite a bit of Zamac. I want to go make sure that we have enough stuff first before we just go building. Because I'm wondering if they may have changed a little bit of that stuff too. So let's go see. Okay, we need Zamac. We need wire. That's the one thing that we do not have a lot of. And for a coupler. We need wire and coupler cobalt and that's all we're going to need for a coupler right there or we might just put the coupler right here i think that would be for the best first we got to have gun metal and some wire and we got to go see how we're going to make the wire so let's go then no we need gold and that and let's go see if the printer will allow us to make wire how much wire can we make we can make 
a little bit of wire can we make rubber how much rubber can we make it looks like we can make quite a bit did we have much rubber on us we have two pieces of rubber let's go ahead and do as much as that as we can because we're going to be needing that we have 10 rubber that took all of the hydrogen hokey jamokies takes 20 each okay i guess that would be about right that looks even new too so that means what we're gonna have to do is go out and get some more hydrogen let's go see liquids and gas hopefully that will be fairly decent looks like there is hydrogen there let's go and go to marker number one and let's go see where that is 316 meters away Let's go and get some more hydrogen, and maybe we can even do a little bit of looking around and see what this looks like. We may not get a lot done here today, but I would like to get the habitat finished. That is for sure. So let me get over there. I'll gather the hydrogen. We'll go see how things are doing, and we'll just kind of take a little look around as we go doing our thing. It does look very interesting. I do like the looks of things. I don't know what that is over there. That's a mine there, but that over by that rock, I don't know what that is. We're going to have to go and see. Let's go take a quick look over at that and go check that out. Hopefully it's something good that we need. We'll find out here momentarily. It looks like that's going to be cobalt. That is cobalt. I do believe we have enough cobalt. But I don't remember, so let's go ahead and grab a note of it. That way we have it, and then we don't have to be as worried about it, because I do know we do need it. The cobalt is very interesting. It has changed color over the course of time with this game. And now what I'm going to do is go ahead and get over there, and we'll see if the hydrogen is actually in the place it needs to be at. I did find the hydrogen. It was white. I did not expect that. I was thinking that it was going to be the same yellow color, and it is not. I find that actually kind of interesting, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Okay, the container is full. Oh, down at the bottom, storage container is full. I do find that interesting that they have made it like that. Because it doesn't show up here anymore. It shows down on our bar right down here in this area how much we have. And uh, it's a decent change, I guess. I can think of worse things. Okay, that um, we need to... Nope, nope, nope. need to change that. Let's go to F1, not 1. Switch you... F why... Why are you not... Um, I want to put you there. Thank you very much. And let's put you there. It's not letting us swap things out. And that's kind of a pain, you know. So let's go back to F1. We'll swip, swap, swap, swap you and we'll put in you. Oh, item must be... E no. I just missed, I guess. I thought maybe I wasn't... Maybe was using something that I should not have been, but nope. Hey, I know what that is. It's like there's uranium fairly close to our base where our habitat and our hut is. That's awesome. So now we can actually get some fairly easily. And we might as well just go ahead and use F1. Let's use this guy. Since we know we can, it isn't going to hurt anything. I'm going to gather this and what other stuff I can. And then we'll head back to the base. How much uranium actually do I have? Um, I should have a bit because I've been using that in the forge and the furnace. 7 of 50. So I had one slot open. That's crazy. That should be lead. I am sure that's lead. That is lead. Do we have any lead on us? It doesn't look like we do i'm not going to get too worried about gathering that because we just don't have the slots so let's go ahead and get back to our base and we'll start building or finish building i should say one thing i notice as i am making my way back to the base is if i use my my hover that thing goes pretty freaking fast now 
I think that's awesome. Injuries detected. Whoa, that's a new voice. That's a new voice. New voice. New voice. New voice. I don't know what I think about it. Thank you. That's interesting that they have that voice there. That's fascinating. Okay. Got some more meat. That was kind of startling, I do gotta say. I wasn't expecting that kind of a voice. and It's actually kind of refreshing. And look at this. Our base is just right over there and there's already gold right here. That's crazy. I don't think I've ever seen gold so close. You normally have to go way out over in... Let me see if I can find it on the map. So we normally have to go way out over like Valles Gravitatis or Gravitas to our Ampelica Crater. What well, right around this area over here to be able to get it. And we have some right here that's super close. That's awesome. I do like that a lot. That is great. I'm making 12 wire now. We had 10 of the rubber plus the two that we already had on our person. And in here I am making 20 of the uh, rubber in here so we're gonna have enough rubber and we still also have 21 lawns to light left so that is actually really good once this gets done we can continue making some more walls let me get one more piece out and we need also some gun metal what is it gonna take for the gun metal we need bronze and molybdenum I don't know if we can make any bronze right now Hoping so is all we need is some tin and we can make some bronze. So let me make a gunmetal and we'll try to make a coupler and finish off the habitat. All right, I do believe that I have everything ready now to be able to make that. So let's go ahead and get this guy up and let's make a coupler right there. We should have enough pieces to be able to make two couplers. Let's get you built right there. And I would like to see about possibly putting in a barracks right over there. But I want to get that Lawns to Light right there taken out of the way. Because we're going to need that out of the way. So let me go ahead and put in a regular wall right here. Normal wall. We should have enough stuff, I would think. Normal wall. And let's go and see about what we're going to have to have over here. It looks like we can probably just go and put in a, another normal wall here. And he, I want to, as I said, make sure that I do save some room. I don't know if the barracks is actually going to fit right there. But we're going to go ahead and give it the old try as much as we can. So let me get this out of the way and we'll see about putting in another coupler so we can build the barracks over there soon enough. All right, let's go ahead and put in this coupler here. And then I want to put in a regular wall. They even They'll put in a windowed wall here. I don't see why not. That isn't going to hurt anything. Make it look a little different. Cool. So we can at least see it's not, it's decently sized. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. And what do we need right over here? I think I'm just going to go ahead and do a normal wall there. Cool. So this is almost done let's go see what we need for a ceiling looks like we can do that we cannot do a coupler ceiling because you don't have gun metal or titanium but we can get that really easy and I don't know if I'm going to do anything with that because we might need it let's go and see about putting in a coupler ceiling that we can well we can because if we're going to put in a fabricator let's just go in and put in can we make a magnalium? I think a skylight would be for the best. Let's go see about doing a magnalium. And we also need to see about plastic for in here. And I am unsure about how to do the plastic. That's going to be something that's going to be a little bit harder to figure out. And that's not something that I'm really super excited to you know start working on right away
You're just gonna be there like a dippy doodle. Injuries detected. Huh? Oh yeah, are you a dippy doodle? Of course you're a dippy doodle. If you weren't a dippy doodle, you wouldn't be a dippy doodle now, would you? All right, let's go see what it takes to make plastic. Our flashlight is actually getting very low. I didn't want that one. I wanted this one. Plastic, we're going to have to have hydrocarbon solution, which is the methane, I do believe, and sulfur and lead. We do have all of that except for the hydrocarbon solution. We're going to need glass jars for that, and we can just drink that and get that. All right. We got that. Let's go see about magnalium, which I think is in, not there. Magnalium, magnesium, so wheat. I know we have that. Let's go ahead and make a couple of magnalium, and then we'll get in our skylight, and I think that's going to be awesome. Once we do, we'll have to see about probably next time getting some plastic and then we'll have this going. I just may actually just decide to do that and finish that up. Let's go to number one, skylight, build. Cool, we now have our habitat done, that's awesome. Now we can actually see in here really well and it's a lot quieter. Let me go see about making the plastic and then we'll finish this out here and have all of this done. So we're needing more Zemac and quite a bit of plastic. I will be back in a quick minute. All right, I think I have everything ready that we can begin finishing this airlock. We should have enough pieces. We have eight plastic. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have 12 Zemac, which is exactly enough and barely enough to rally them. Let's go ahead and get this guy done. So at least we will have all of this done. I had to go all the way over to the Blood Forest to get the uh, sulfur. And I found zinc along the way. And there's resources all over the place. Seems like they've really spread them out really well. This is the last one. This will have this done. Ta-da! And now we have our stuff done. Now we can come in and out as we please. It looks like the door is just going to stay open. I wonder if we leave through here. Okay, the door is open. It doesn't seem to close right now anymore. So unable to pressurize. Close out our door before proceeding. Uh, okay. Well, there's nothing to repair. And I don't know how we shut the door. So it doesn't look like there's a way to. Um, yeah, no idea how to do that. How do we shut this? Oh, probably because it doesn't have power. No power, that's right. So we don't have power to here, so we cannot shut that door. But at least we are going to be safe in here. So I forgot about the power thing. All right, we have our habitat done. We have our airlock done, and we have in two of these couplers, and I think that's about all we're going to be able to do for right now. But you got to see some of the things that are in the update. There are new sounds. The person talking to us is pretty unique, and the power is in, so we can do that. Copper has a new look, and things have all kinds of new looks and sounds and everything else. This is Osiris Dudon. Thank you for joining me here. I hope you had a good time. I had a wonderful time. Last two episodes, I've been doing a lot better. I haven't kicked the bucket and respawned, so that is really good. And I've figured out a way to take on the snubs. You just got to kind of confront them or get up on a place where you can be safe and take them out like that. If you've enjoyed the episode, drop a like on the video. And if you are new here and you like what you see, consider subscribing. And we will talk to you next time. You have a great day and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.